I'm going to ask the train bridge, PT-305. Incredibly newly restored World War II motor torpedo boat, PT-305, is back at the same dock as in 1943. Cut him loose! Cut him loose! Cut him loose! Eee! This boat does not like to go slow, built to race into the danger of war at sea. I don't make a move till I tell you. She's a challenge, she's a thrill, but more than anything, she's an honor to pay homage to the crews that were on her in World War II. PT-305 was built at Higgins Industries in New Orleans and sank two enemy ships during World War II. Eyewitness News followed volunteers over nearly a decade, painstakingly restoring the aging warrior to pristine condition. PT-305 sliced through the water effortlessly. Those on board are aware this was history. You know, Bill, this is the only fully restored combat veteran PT boat in the world. This is the only one that saw active service and has its Packard engines in it. And you can ride on it. And you're going to be able to ride on it starting the 1st of April. Actor Gary Sinise wore a smile as big as any while looking at the weapons, then joined museum CEO Nick Mueller at the controls. Right in there, beautiful. You got to hang it this quick. All right, there you go. <laughs> you got to run the throttles, Gary Sinise. What was your mind? I was. That's hard. That's actually hard to do to keep all three engines at, uh, in line at the same time. It's, and you have to do it with one hand. It's kind of. I got to ask, what would Lieutenant Dan think of riding on this boat? Lieutenant Dan would love this boat. Uh <laughs> I'm Bill Capo, Eyewitness News, Action Reporter.